Hey guys, welcome back and today we are going to see some nursing diagnosis and care plans for schizophrenia. I am listing very important nursing diagnosis and one care plan. We will see what is schizophrenia first. You know what is schizophrenia? I have already uploaded a video about schizophrenia. Please go through the video and understand what is schizophrenia first. Again, again and the same thing I just want to tell you that if you want to write the nursing diagnosis, you must understand the signs and symptoms. That means you must understand the condition properly. So before going to write your nursing diagnosis and care plan, please go through your case sheet and please go through the condition. Please understand the definitions, etiologies and signs and symptoms of particular patient. Here I'll give you a brief description about what is schizophrenia or uh, what symptoms we can see in schizophrenic patients. According to Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorder, that means DSM-5, in schizophrenia patients, two or more of the following symptoms must be present in one month period. So, in one month period, if you see the below listed uh, symptoms in a patient, definitely the doctor will start a diagnose uh, in that way that like the patient is having schizophrenia or not. So the symptoms are delusions, hallucinations, disorganized speech, grossly disorganized or catatonic behavior, negative symptoms. So they will check either the patient is having delusions or hallucinations. So two or more of the following symptoms must be present in the patient means uh, then only we can consider it as schizophrenia. All right. So what is schizophrenia? It is a psychiatric condition characterized by disturbances in the thinking, memory and behavior. There is problems in the thinking, memory and behavior. That's why these symptoms will arise in the patient. That is delusions, hallucinations, disorganized speech, grossly disorganized or catatonical behavior and negative symptoms. We will see the nursing diagnosis. That is our discussion part here. So these are all the nursing diagnosis you can write. Uh, for schizophrenia, risk for injury related to auditory and visual hallucinations and delusion as evidenced by highly impulsive actions. Next one, disturb sensory. You have to specify which kind of uh, sensory disturbances. Okay, I've just written like disturb sensory. That means visual uh, disturbances and auditory disturbances or disturbed sensory perceptions related to inability to differentiate real and unreal perceptions. Then self-care deficit related to hyperactive behavior. Impaired verbal communication related to flight of ideas and unwanted thinking. Disturbed thought process related to disease condition as evidenced by delusion of grandiosity. That is a sign which we can see in uh, the uh, what schizophrenia patient. They will say that they have connection with prime minister. They have connection with chief minister. Just now they, ha they had a con conversation and call with the prime minister. Um, next flight I'm going to uh, what the particular PM's office and president's office like that. So disturbed thought. Why? Because means they have disturbed thought process. So you can write like this disturbed thought process related to disease condition as evidenced by delusion of grandiosity then impaired physical mobility related to reluctance to initiate movement or depressive mood then impaired social interaction related to disturbances in thought pattern and speech risk for suicide related to highly impulsive behavior and depression then risk for injury related to hallucinations and delusions there is for imbalanced nutrition, less than body requirement related to uh, self-neglection or refusal for self-care. So these are all the nursing diagnosis you can write in your nurse, uh, schizophrenia condition uh, under nursing diagnosis list. And I have a nursing care plan here for risk for injury because that is one of the very common uh, nursing diagnosis and definitely you have to plan for this. Okay, so I am. I have added this nursing care plan. I mean, related to risk for injury. Okay, as I said, for assess uh, for care plan, we have to add these columns: assessment, diagnosis, planning, rational implementation, and evaluation. Right. So under assessment, what we will write? Subjective data and objective data. Under subjective data, what we will write? What the patient is saying. That is subjective data. And objective data means what? What? Your observation. So under subjective data, I have observed like this. Or the patient said like this. The patient says that he can listen the radio voice from his head. 
okay so to uh, to write the subjective data definitely you have to talk to your patient guys so if you talk to your patient only you can understand otherwise you have to go to your case sheet and you have to i mean the patient's case sheet and you have to check the uh, present complaint so there you will see the patient complains that he or she can listen some radio voice or he or she can see something which is unusual which others can't see okay so subjective data means what the patient is saying about the condition so patient says that he can listen the radio voice from his head then objective data the patient shows highly impulsive actions and irritability that is your observation so if the patient is keep on saying these type of things and repetitively doing some activities means definitely you could write the patient shows highly impulsive actions and irritability then while coming to the diagnosis column the same diagnosis i am writing here risk for injury related to auditory and visual hallucinations and delusion as evidenced by highly impulsive actions okay and what is the goal the patient will maximize the level of independence or the maximize the level of uh, functioning okay and what is the planning for this particular di diagnosis uh, for every nursing care plan uh, what is the first planning means history collection and mental status examination if it is a psychiatric condition definitely physical examination uh, mental status examination and history collection if it is a general medical surgical condition means you can write history collection and physical examination no need of writing mental status examination so this is schizophrenia so you have to write do history collection and mental status examination for, what's the rationale to understand the general condition of the patient and in implementation column you have to write the past tense right completed physical examination and mental status examination if you complete it okay completed physical examination and mental status examination and if you have observed something means that also you can add in this implementation column okay then this is just an example that's what i didn't add anything okay then second planning is don't touch the patient without telling him because they have this hallucination and hallucinatory behavior so without asking or without uh, knowing if he touched they will uh, get scared and they will get irritated and they will uh, do something which is uh, beyond your control okay so please don't touch the patient without telling him that is a plan actually okay for what you establish trust and rapport so uh, without permission if you touch you cannot develop a trust with the patient so please do follow that then follow the patterns and pa patient started to respond back normally will not come will never respond completely but you can uh, see some positive thing okay then follow an accepting consistent approach while dealing with the patient always follow a consistent approach okay that is very important then for what it is to maintain a stable and balanced relationship with the patient and follow the methods and patient started to play back and what method you have followed that you have to write in the implementation i have just written like uh, what past in past tense followed okay if you have followed some method means that also you can add under the implementation column then next planning is use language which is clear and ambiguous and convey this to the patient with a hope and confidence because the patient is having this auditory hallucinations and he or she is listening lot of unwanted sounds and all those stuff so use a clear language and ambiguous language and convey with a hope and confidence for what to improve the confidence level of the patient then use language which is uh, understandable to the patient and the patient started to respond then next avoid promoting dependence by doing only whatever the patient can't do for himself or some uh, some uh, care, healthcare professional will try to uh, force the activities which the patient can't do okay that will lose the confidence of the patient because the patient doesn't have any problem in their physical body they have problem in their mental state so the patient will start to think like i can't do why every time i'm failing in the activity so to avoid that always give some activities which is Uh, comfortable to the patient so avoid promoting dependence by doing only whatever the patient can't do for himself so it will reduce the dependence okay for what you you have to do this means to maximize the level of functioning and avoided the complex activities and started to give simple activities then reward positive behavior and work with him that's very very important always we all human beings right so especially the mentally ill patient means they need some more support so you have to reward the positive behavior and support him to increase the personal sense of responsibility then rewarded the patient for all positive behavior and patient started to perform the activities then Uh, what kind of uh, uh, reward you have given that you can write there then provide support in assisting him to learn social skill to promote social skill of the patient and provide a different support technique that is also depend upon the condition of your uh, patient
okay sometimes like drawing sometimes giving some small small activities like clean the room okay whatever the things to improve the social skills or make him or her as a leader of the group and tell him to report the things on particular time okay a kind of small small activities then maintain a safe environment with minimal stimulation safe environment is very very important because there are chances of risk for injury so definitely injuries will uh, uh, they occur though we are doing all these planning also chances of uh, injuries are there so always maintain a safe uh, environment with minimal stimulation for what prevention is always better than cure right then to ensure safety that is the rational and maintain a safe environment to avoid injury so these are the major planning which you can write for this risk for injury thing and uh, if there is any injury happen means you have to change these plans guys okay and then what is the evaluation the patient improved his level of function to some extent complete uh, independence and independence in patient and all you cannot see but the patient improved his uh, level of functioning to some extent so this is the nursing care plan for risk for injury related to these behaviors as evidenced by uh, impulsive action so this and uh, schizophrenia nursing diagnosis and care plans guys so in next video we will discuss other conditions diagnosis and care plan hope you understand guys thank you